I am Endlessness and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 of a Crisis and in this video I'd like to give you a guide for the floor B27 in the Burl Tower event. It's Iron Giant again and he is weak to water and it is crucial to have utilities to debuff his physical attacks as well as physical defense as he will often keep buffing them but the giant hits very hard so you need high physical defense stat as well as buffs to survive his attacks and there will be a sigil phase and ideally if possible you want one diamond sigil somewhere on your team to make it a little bit easier but you could also break it with three characters using three AB abilities but since it's physical water then your best two options for DPS are Cloud and Glenn but Glenn without, without a question is the best option with his limited half anniversary gear and slay the day that buffs his water damage but I think Cloud's maritime is still great despite being one year old but we also have multiple water debuffing characters like Zack with Black Whiskers, Nanaki, Barret or Seth and Aerith, Matt, Barret and Nanaki are also very good healers and what is crucial for this battle is to have something to debuff giant's physical attack and physical defense as well as buff your own physical defense and ideally you also want to squeeze in that war resistance debuffs to increase your dps so we have quite a lot of options to build our team but i recommend having at least 11,000 hp and around 200 p def if possible and I also find this combination works very well. So I'm using Cloud, Seth and Matt with Matt being a healer. Cloud is DPS and Sephiroth is debuffing DPS. And I also have equip only necessary equipment. So I have a lot of equipment slots empty to lower my damage. But you should equip your best weapons and material or slots. Matt has gear voucher outfit and vanquishing X, centipede for heals and PDF buffs, killer hornet with diamond surger as well as Matt's ultimate weapon but it's not needed here, it's just a free heal in case you need it if you have his weapon. Then wear blow is just a PDF stat stick and breach I highly recommend as Matt will be helping Cloud to nullify physical defense buffs. Then in sub equipment slots, Matt has syringe for HP and guild weapon with physical defense for all allies. Sephiroth has wore Arcanum outfit and Arden flare, but you can use any of his limit breaks. Tempest to debuff warrior resistance and DPS. Northern lights to debuff giant's physical attack. Genji and these two materia are just PDF stat sticks. Then in sub equipment slots, Seth has four point shuriken and Arctic star both to boost his buff debuff extension. Lastly Cloud has Bahamut outfit but maritime outfit should be bare if you have it. Leviathan, maritime sword for DPS, Glavinus for both attack buffs and to debuff physical defense, ultimate buster sword and debrief is to help debuff giant's physical attack. And Cloud has nothing in sub equipment slots, but I recommend equipping weapons with war poncy as well as physical ability poncy. So, Iron Giant, another old boss that we are revisiting because he was the second crash boss that we had after the game launched. But here, wait a few seconds and buff your physical defense and then with clouds we have to help Sephiroth nullify this physical attack buff because you need to cast it again to to fully debuff him as, as much as possible because even though we are buffed and he is debuffed he hits still very hard and here you have enough AB to attack once but then save your AB because now he will do mighty guard and we want to nullify this this physical defense buff as quickly as possible because as soon as you nullify that you will get toppled and stunned for a short period of time so that's when we'll have time to recover HP and prepare for this grand sword again And 
and we should be fine and ready. And also, by the way, I have both the back extension on Sephiroth, so just in case you don't have it, you might want to recast that Northern Lights debuff again before that Grand Sword hits. You see, yeah, that was pretty close, it's flashing now, so whenever you see physical attack debuff flashing, just prepare to recast it instantly again because you don't want to get hit by the giant that's without hit any physical attack debuffs. Oh no. It's not me, I was just trying to be fast enough to to nullify that animation. But also don't worry about this physical attack buff because now it's the sigil phase, at least it should be. Yeah, it's the sigil phase, so with Sephiroth try to nullify that attack buff because he will keep attacking one character during this sigil phase and he hits pretty hard and Smat is also busy breaking sigil so he can't heal or buff physical defense but we should be fine here now great but here of course prioritize healing back to full HP, but after this focus on breaking or nullifying that physical defense buff because now it's in spirit so he buffs his physical attack and will start casting another should be Grand Sword but just to make it a little bit safer Oh no, Cloud managed to sneak that debrief in. But now it's it's fine, he's toppled. It's just up to you as when you can nullify those buffs. If you could nullify it quicker, then you would have a, a little bit more time to prepare for that because you would get toppled. And here you can use Arden Flare whenever you want. I just saw my Genji buffs expiring, so I thought I would just use it. And my guard again, so try to break it as quickly as possible. It's just the same thing. And luckily here, you'll get toppled, so we have with Sephiroth enough time to debuff his physical attack buff that he gets. Because that's a single target attack, and it targets the character with lowest max HP, so in my case that's Matt, and you definitely do not want to get hit by not debuffed single target attack by, by the giant. And just try to recover. Also if you want you can equip a single target Cura for that. There is the animation. It is ideally now closer. Here to the end of the battle, switch the defense on those attacks whenever you see him swinging. And now it's Grand Sword. 
he is buffed and that's pretty much where slowly the DPS race begins. Try to recover and of course whenever you see you have Leviathan or the Limit Breaks and Summons, you can use them anytime. Actually, I didn't have to nullify that physical attack buff here, debuff, but this Greyer's Helm Splayer, beware of that, because this is a single target attack, same as normal Helm Splayer, but it will kill that character. He is buffed enough that it will be instant kill, when whoever he targets, so beware of that, that's pretty much... He will target another character then, so it's a DPS race because you have to kill him sooner before he kills all your characters. If it's a healer, that's that's still fine because you have your DPS still alive. But actually, that was funny because I, I managed to get it just in time for a clean, clean run. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just keep debuffing physical attack, physical defense, whatever is needed and be prepared and also don't let the giant hit you without being debuffed. But yeah, I hope you find my guy helpful and thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next one.